It's such a creepy thing to say. <laughs> uh, I feel like I can't have you in front of me today. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. This one can be cut a lot. I feel like we're going to have to do a lot of cutting today. Yeah. Or you're going to have to do a lot of cutting. We're going to, yeah. yeah. So I get messages and emails pretty much every single day from people asking me to send them their calories and macros to help them lose weight. And it's my least favorite question in the world. So people think if they just get this number then automatically it's all they need to lose weight. And it is the most important factor. You need to know how much food you need to eat to lose weight, but I don't know anything about you. I don't know. Uh, what you do for a living, I don't know your activity level, I don't know mentally how you're going to cope with targets that I might give you. But having said that, because enough people ask me for it, so you guys must want to know, I'm going to give in and I'm going to show you how you can work out your calories and macros for weight loss for you and your body weight. Just a disclaimer, it's just the start. So if you need to adjust it, you need to do that yourself or find a coach who can help you adjust. So, the first thing that you need to do is work out your total calories. So, we're going to do that by multiplying your body weight. It got smaller. Is that big enough though? No. Yeah, it is. Look at how small the letters get. What if go? I do like this around it? Like a, a cloud. Okay, yeah, you can do a cloud. Calories. <laughs> so, your calories, the way you're going to work out your total calories, so this is the most important part, is multiplying your body weight in pounds by 10 to 14. So body weight, big enough, times 10 to 14 is going to equal your calories. The way you're going to decide whether where you are on the scale of 10 to 14 is based on your activity level. So if you have a sedentary job where you're sat at a desk all day, you do no exercise, you're gonna multiply your body weight in pounds by 10. The top end of the scale, if you are training twice a day, or you're a postman that works, that walks loads of miles a day and you exercise, so you're super active, then you're gonna multiply your body weight in pounds times 14. If you're somewhere in the middle, then you can use 11, 12, and 13 as well. That's the way a scale works. As an example, to keep it really simple, if someone comes to me and is 200 pounds, no, no exercise, completely sedentary job, obviously if they work with me, they're gonna get a training program, but Say someone's just asking me for help, they weigh 200 pounds, they don't want to exercise, they want to carry on in a 9 to 5 job, don't want to add any activity, then we're going to take 200 and multiply it by 10, and that will give them 2,000 calories. That's how you look at calories. Excellent, Matt. Yeah. No. <laughs> the next thing that you need to work out after you've got your calories, uh, and I'm just going to keep 2,000 over here from our last example and we'll use someone who weighs 200 pounds and is completely inactive as our example at the end. So the next thing you need to work out is your protein. To work out your protein, you're going to multiply your body weight in pounds by 0.8 to 1 gram. To keep it simple, let's just multiply your body weight in pounds by 1 gram of protein, yeah? If somebody weighs 200 pounds, and we times that by one gram of protein. So they eat one gram of protein for every pound of body weight. Some great maths coming up. Equals 200 grams of protein. Okay, so this 200 pound person who's completely inactive, no exercise, is gonna eat 2,000 calories. So 200 grams of, that, of those calories are gonna be protein. Next up are fats. So, Fats are often 
demonised. I think they're being demonised right now, actually, in the papers. High fat diet being demonised. Yeah, yeah I think it's really you've seen that. It's fucking stupid. All the time, the papers, the media are just trying to demonise one macronutrient because they want to simplify it because that's what people want. There's nothing wrong with fats. We need some dietary fats um, for hormone regulation, proper brain function, shit like that. So the way you're going to work out your fats is 0.3 to 0.5 grams for every pound of body weight. So again, in our example, so I'll just write down, will not be big enough, 0.3 to 0.5 grams per, this is the worst, one pound of body weight. Keeping it simple again, if we have this 200 pound person, uh, and times that by 0.5. What is it, Chloe? Do you know? Yes! That was really quick maths for me. I'm <laughs> not even joking. <laughs> 100 grams of fat. And the way, the way you decide where you are on this scale is by thinking about what you prefer in your diet, carbs or fats. So if you know that you have a preference to high fat foods over high carbs, then go towards the higher end of the scale. If you know that you prefer high carb foods to high fat, then keep the fat lower because they're, all, they're always direct, directly proportional to each other, kind of. They're like a seesaw. But all right? mac and cheese is my favourite food. And that's a bit of both. Mm. Yeah, it's not complicated. <laughs> Let's figure out our carbohydrates. So this is where you need a calculator. Hopefully I won't, I don't usually need a calculator for this, but I'm feeling a bit stupid today, so we'll see. So the way you work out your carbs is to first work out how many calories you're getting from 200 grams of protein and 100 grams of fat. Here's what you need to know. In every gram of protein, there are four calories. That means this 200 grams of protein equals 800 calories. This is why fat gets demonized, it's because it's the most calorie dense macronutrient. So for every gram of fat, there are nine calories. All right, so there are more calories in fat than in any other macronutrient. Um, but that doesn't mean it's bad for us, we just need to be aware of that and not overeat it. It's much easier to overeat. So, if there's one, if it's, sorry, if there are nine calories in every gram of fat, then in here, we are getting 900 calories from our fat. Making sense? Mm -hmm. To work out carbs, in every gram of carb, are four calories. So the same as protein. So if we know we've got this total number of 2,000 calories, that's our target, that's our limit. And we've already used up 1,700 calories. So this equals 1,700 calories. That means we've got 300 calories left that we can use for carbs. So all we need to do is divide 300 by four, and that'll give us our total calories from carbs. Which is? 75. Yeah. <laughs> so that means we can have 75 grams of carbs. Let me just explain this a little bit more. So we've, had, we've got a, two, a 200 pound person who does no exercise as, and is inactive. 2,000 calories for a 200 pound person is quite low but they're not doing anything. If they did a bit of exercise or just some activity, so set themselves a target of doing 10,000 steps a day, they can eat more. So it's important to do training as well as sort your diet out. However, this is what you need to do to lose weight. You need to figure out what intake level works best for you. Just a disclaimer, this is just a starting point. This isn't gonna be perfect. If you're a 200 pound person watching this who does nothing, don't just think, ah, sweet, I'll just go with that, and that's just sorted forever. It's not. Test it for two weeks. If after two weeks, progress isn't happening, 
you have to change it. You have to either add activity or lower your intake. If you're losing weight too fast, then you can eat more food. As you change weight, you're gonna to have to change this as well. This is how to work out your macros and calories. It's not the be all and end all. There are loads of other factors. Sticking to a diet, the mental side of it, the accountability side of it. But if you just wanna know what your calories and your macros are, that's how you work it out. So in summary, to work out your calories and macros, you need to multiply your body weight in pounds by 10 to 14 based on your activity level. You need to multiply your body weight in pounds by 0.8 to one to give you your total grams of protein. You need to multiply your body weight in pounds by 0.3 to 0.5 to give you your total amount of fat in grams um, based on preference. Protein has four calories per gram. Fat has nine calories per gram. You'll need to know that. You need to minus the calories from your fat and protein from your total calories and then divide the remaining number by four and that will give you your carbohydrates. Done. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Snapchat. See you there.